Hello everyone, my name is Linda James and I'm the founder and chief executive of Bullies Out. We're an anti-bullying charity and we work across the UK to support individuals, schools, youth settings and the workplace with positive and innovative anti-bullying programmes and to empower individuals to achieve their full potential. Today I'd like to talk about workplace bullying. Bullying in the workplace can take on many different forms and it isn't always easy to recognise. Defining bullying is simple enough. It's repeated intentional behaviour that seriously damages the confidence, self-esteem and emotional well-being of an individual. However, identifying the actions can be more difficult, especially as some bullying behaviours are so covert. A bullying, uh, sorry, bullies out. We define workplace bullying as repeated, unreasonable actions of individuals or a group directed towards an employee or a group of employees which are intended to intimidate, degrade, humiliate or undermine, or which create a risk to the health and safety of that individual or group of individuals. It is a systematic campaign of interpersonal destruction that can jeopardise your health, your career and your confidence. Bullying is a behaviour that humiliates and intimidates. And some types of bullying behaviour in the workplace of verbal aggression or yelling, humiliating initiation practices, unrealistic workload, underwork, thus creating a feeling of uselessness, continuous criticism of an individual or their work, demotivation, withholding necessary information or purposely giving the wrong information, removing areas of responsibility without any cause, constantly changing work guidelines, establishing impossible deadlines that can set up an individual to fail, constantly interfering and dictating, blocking applications for training, leave or promotion, selectively including or excluding a person, spreading malicious rumours, isolation or calling someone derogatory names. Now, this bullying can come from co-workers, team leaders, managers, employers in general, even external sources. The effects of bullying and don't just happen to an individual. Of course, they happen to the overall organisation as well. And with one in three employees reporting being bullied, it has a massive effect on the overall health of that organisation. 47% of Britain's employees have witnessed workplace bullying. And bullying currently causes the loss of 18 million working days each year. And that's a financial cost of 13.7 billion pounds. Stress is, is currently the reason or the biggest reason for sickness absenteeism at work. This is a survey sponsored by the, the TUC and carried out by the University of Manchester. Bullying and harassment are not only unaccepted on moral grounds, but may, if ignored or badly handled, create serious problems for that organisation. And these can include decreased morale and poor employee relations, increased turnover of staff, increased stress-related absences, poor or inadequate uh, customer services, damage to corporate image, reputation, customer confidence, increased costs for recruitment as their staff are leaving loss of respect for employers, decreased productivity, increased risk for accidents or other incidents, and of course, tribunal and other court costs and payment of unlimited compensation. So therefore, it is every employer's interest to pr promote a safe and healthy and fair environment in which people can work and develop to their full potential. For the individual, however, the effects are huge. And these include for their feelings, shock, anger, frustration, helplessness, an increased sense of vulnerability, a loss of confidence and self-esteem, physical symptoms, inability to sleep, loss of appetite, high blood pressure, ulcers, psychomatic symptoms, such as stomach pains, headaches, panic or anxiety, especially about going to work, family tension and stress, inability to concentrate, and low morale and productivity. 
and many individuals who suffer from prolonged bullying at work may experience PTSD. Individuals can come, become irritable, obsessive, overly sensitive, experience mood swings, indecision or a loss of humour. They may begin doing things like biting their nails, grinding their teeth, relying on substances such as caffeine, nicotine, alcohol or sleeping aids. So bullying at work can have a huge, huge devastating effect on an individual. Those who are bullied at work not only lose their motivation, they lose time because they're preoccupied with trying to defend themselves, avoiding the bully, seeking support. They ruminate about the situation and they plan on how to deal with the situation. So they're constantly thinking about bullying all the time, how to deal with it, what's gonna happen next. It's going over and over and over in their minds all the time. And what's more, they feel a huge sense of isolation. And in fact, workplace bullying can leave an individual so traumatized that they feel powerless, dis disorientated, confused, and helpless. So what should you do if you're bullied at work? Of course, it's very easy now for me to say, you need to tell somebody because it's the only way to stop it. And of course you do, but it isn't that simple. We know it isn't that simple. And to talk to the person about their behavior is absolutely terrifying. I know I've been there. I've suffered from school bullying and workplace bullying. And I know that to the thought of actually speaking to either person was absolutely traumatizing. But it is important to tell somebody, whether it's a colleague you can trust, whether it is a manager, so if it's a team leader bullying you, or if it is a manager, there, there is always a chain of command. But you do need to speak to somebody about it. You do need to tell somebody. If you can, try and keep a journal of evidence about what is happening to you. Who is doing the bullying? What are they saying? What are they doing? When are they doing it? Is there a pattern to what is happening here? Always keep that evidence, keep any texts, emails, messages that they might send you as well. Record as much detail as possible. As we've heard, we never know when these cases could end up at a tribunal and the more evidence you have, the better it's going to be. But please try and tell somebody, always try and tell somebody. It is important for an employer to strive to create a workplace environment that cultivates teamwork, cooperation, and positive interaction. If this doesn't happen, you will work in a culture of fear, demotivation, and stress. And as hard as it is, as I've just said, it is always best to confront workplace bullying and maintain a bullying-free environment for people to work in. It's the right thing to do for you, and it's the right thing to do for your colleagues. So if you are being bullied at work, or you see it happening to somebody else, please speak out. Because if you don't break the silence, who will? So thank you so much for listening. I really hope that this has been useful. There's more information on our website, uh, bulliesout.com. And if as an individual you need some more support, then please contact our mentors, uh, mentors online at bulliesout.com. And we can always speak to anybody about bullying behavior and what is happening and help as much as we possibly can. So thank you again and have a great day.